Greetings, greetings, greetings. Give thanks and praise. This is another notice that our society send via email, via mail to the court and to the chief judge. A walk in the nation in America, to God be the glory. Notice. Claim for property, body, the famous corpus. Was the Supreme Court of Judicata of Jamaica from the Superior Court of Record, public record number 33, 43. Claim number of reference, CA 2021-CR-02005. Between claimant, Brother Awa, man known as Linton, O'Neill of the House of Dallas doing business as Linton O'Neill Dallas and defendant Chester Crooks, man doing business as Chief Judge of the Parish Court on behalf of the Crown, Regina and the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court Criminal Division of, at the Half a Tree Courthouse with a man known as Byron Sites doing business as acting Supreme Court Justice, Honorable Justice, Brian Sites, OJCD, Chief Justice, here and after referred to as Chief Justice, our fellow image of God, with full faith and credit, man known as Brian Sites, doing business as Chief Justice, provide the finding of facts and conclusion of law. We the people are walking their nation in America. Pray to the most high legislator of the universe. May bless and protect you, Brian Sykes, doing business as Chief Justice. To God be the glory. We the people are walking their nation in America. Believe, brother, Awa, property person and the body of we the people are walking their nation in America. See, attach, exhibit S. We the people are working their nation in America claim trespass on property, body and rights by way of interference and deprivation of property, body and rights without due process. See, attached exhibit P and P. We the people are working their nation in America claim trespass on property by way of human trafficking by use of a cruel method of accounting. See attach exhibit P. We the people are walking the nation in America. Leave the man brother a war known as Linton O'Neill of the House of Dallas sometimes doing business as Linton O'Neill Dallas. Or our walking the nation in America property held at the Tower Street Adult Correctional Center, also known as General Penitentiary. We the people are walking the nation in America require with pro with Require and demand compensation for C. Exhibit I. Restore property to the man known as Brother Aoa with given name, Linton hyphen O'Neill, full call and house of Dallas, sometimes doing business as Linton O'Neill does. And this is where the witnesses, the council of the Aoa Kindian Nation, House of Hughes, House of Campbell, that's Joel Jaguar, that's Joe Main. And that's Clan Mother Ahana, Clan Mother Natasha, a good brother Moses Masha, House of Cooper, and our good brother uh, Dimitri, House of Andre. And then we have the exhibit T. Claim of trespass upon property, nature of trespass. One, interference with property rights by way of false imprisonment without due process. Two, non compliance with court, public court. One, 
or interference and deprivation of guaranteed protected rights, property, CFC, Constitution of Jamaica, Chapter 3, specifically 1962, see the American Declaration of Rights and Duties of Man, OAS, Organization of American State, Res, Triple X, adopted by the 9th International Conference of American State, 1948, James Madison's Essay on Property, 1792, Exhibit B, Second Treaties of Government by John Locke, 1689, and Sir Thomas Littleton's Treatise on Penny, 1483. All of these are just reference information for sure, sir. Nothing we are doing is new. I mean, other people in, ahead of us that came before us have put in place information where It's relevant today where we can keep our corporate public servants in check. So basically, these are just reference information. Come on. Number three, administer of property without rights, without authority, without compensation. CF, Superior Court of Record, Public Record Number 3343. We, the people, are walking the nation in America. Believe the man known as Chester Brooks doing business as chief judge of the parish court ordered to deprive property by way of cruel and unusual punishment with false arrest without due process and compensation thereby human trafficking for property brother Awa the man known as Linton Hyphen O'Neill for Poland House of Dallas sometimes doing business as Linton on New Dallas. We the people are working their nation in America presume unjust revenue recognition event by way of a cruel method of accounting with the order from the man known as Chester Crooks in business as chief judge of the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court to deprive said property, the body and person of or we the people, brother Aoua, without right, due process and nor compensation. Give thanks, my good brother Dimitri, and the rest of you guys. Exhibit S. I guess this is an image of our good brother, Awa. This is a copy of a World Bird Certificate. Yeah, man, see where it has a Linton hyphen and eel, aka Awa Poo, American Island of Jamaica. Now we correct it and say Zamaica. Only we can amend and correct anything. Only we can do that. And we have a father's name, Bernard Dallas, Dallas Bernard. We have a mom name, Smith, Donaldson, Delia May. Yeah, man. So we have our own documentation. We have that duty to exercise those rights. Now, if you ask permission for me. Oh, and this is a uh, image of our good brother. Yeah, man, you see how the beard big. But when we go inside of that <clears throat> prison industrial complex, in that madhouse, because it is sent me to a prison for psychological evaluation, and most of madhouse is sent me. Yeah, man, and after 14 days of being there, man, that's all a little simple discipline, a simple order. And then remove all of the hair from my face and from my head. Well, I'm trim it all down. Yeah, man. That I want a high ritual where when you are purify yourself and cleanse yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah, for the objective, that is the ritual. But spiritually, it's more intense and more more it has said deeper than yeah and then whatever for me personally shoot me get from my exercise then I just move forward that way yeah man so I know me I carry an energy when I go into the court and an energy when I enter the prison you get me I'm going to leave out of the prison with a 
power. I'm going there, I'm going to end up alert. So that energy there, I'm going to shake off in my prison because that's the place for it. You know what I mean? That's the place for it. Yeah, man. So when I step out of the prison, mm -hmm. yeah, man, it's like a renaissance, it's a rebirth. You know what I mean? Because you literally you know, went to hell. I spent not unlike Christ, 40 days and 40 nights within that system, within that hell. And when, not unlike Christ, when they carried Christ to Pilate and Pilate wash him hand and say, I find no fault with this man. It's the same thing. The prison industrial complex find no fault with I as man. Doctor O, and his name spelled O O as in O, double zero as in O, Doctor O, found no fault with this man. Hence, the judge had no, I won't say he had no case, but when I went back in court, all our chief judge said to me was, Mr. Dallas, ready to go home? And I said, certainly. You know what I mean? And even then and there, is when me asked the boy, my attitude may have contributed to your decision. However, a decision was unlawful. And I did apologize to the court if I'm being rude. Whenever I'm going to court, me always I try to make that clear. I'm not here to disrespect the court. I'm not here to disrespect my public servants. You get me? I'm not here to be rude. I'm not that type of way. You know what I mean? That's not in my nature to just get up and be disrespectful and rude. And if I command respect, I cannot be disrespectful. You know what I mean? So, when the chief judge make a court order, as he has, and then they find that, hey, if you cannot bring a charge against me, but there is no charge, you cannot be no charge, you cannot convict me for anything. You cannot bring a charge. Why? Because you do not have a victim with a verified claim that I have caused damage or harm. You do not have a victim with a valid wet ink contract where myself and whomever that accused is are in contractual agreement. These are the two elements we have to present. The victim or the obligation or contract. When you cannot present these things, you are trespassing. You have committed damage and harm. Yeah, man. If I am a criminal, we are a victim, come and say, I have caused damage and harm. Then we can move forward. How can we move forward when there is no such thing? How can you ever ask a man to plead? What is plead? Guilty or not guilty? Where is innocent? You know what I mean? Where is that term where you say you're innocent until you're proven guilty? Usually when I'm going to court and judge a talk about plea, I'm here to say plea. I am factually innocent. Factually innocent. You can't present no fact to prove that I am guilty of no crime. Because your prosecutor is in contempt of court. I must speak without first and knowledge. But because you guys, as they would say, are in cahoots with each other, conflict of interest in every area, you are committing fraud by administrating property that does not belong to you, that you are not authorized 
what ministry is. Yeah, man, these things are called breaking the law. So if your policy I instruct you to go against your will, breaking the law, then you shall be held liable. You don't talk about you just doing your job. You know what I mean? And if you're just doing your job, it's not a problem. You shall be held liable doing that job. You get me? And the liability shall extend to the principal, foreign or domestic. Someone has to be held accountable. Someone shall. This is a copy of the superior court of record or put on record created by our own hand. It's, it's a certified document copy of the following office of Templar Church, the Crown, City of London, Crown Office Road, and then it said the Office of the Governor General, Commonwealth of Jamaica, Office of Secretary of State, United States of America. Yeah, man, on this document you have superior quota of record, conditional acceptance and offer. See? Section 0, you have the introduction. Section 1, notice of claim, statement of shoot for the public record. Number 1, you have the name and title, address or temporary post location. We will have number three, we have an error, because remember we are man, we are not machines, so we we'll make these kind of corrections as we go along. Date of birth or life event, place of birth, citizenship, domicile, this document is expressive, it will tell you everything, it's like a dossier, diplomatic status and standing, Come on. travel documents, you see, and that is just section one. Section 2 of Notice Acknowledgement and Acceptance mm -hmm. of the Bond and Public Oath or Affirmation Made Under Penalty of Perjury. Section 3 is a Notice of Absolute Forgiveness and Discharge Forever of All Known and Unknown Debt and Liabilities. Yeah, man. Section 4 is a Notice of Appointment to the Office of Executor. Section 5 is a Notice of ordinance of estate. Section 6 is notice of fee schedule. Section 7 is a judicial and administrative notice. And section 8 is where we have a notice of arbitration clause. So this document here is very informative and it is law. It is where you can find whatever it is we need to communicate with our public servant. And at least one of the documents that will place quite a few documents on the public record. Only two. That's how we choose to communicate with our public servants, with, our, with the corporate construct, the foreign corporate construct. And you can look at the indentation of the seal. And as we go along, you will see that. This document here, yeah, I deposit to the Island Record Office, Jamaica, with no partners. We can find this document. You see it? I'm the executor, I'm the owner, I'm the keeper of this document. Come on. Come on. This is where we claim everything. Copyright, copy claim. Copyright claim, that's where we do it. Then we have exhibit P. We are talking about James Madison defining and talking about property. 29 of March, 1792. Look how long this is. How much? 100 years ago. This term, in its particular application, means, and with the term, what I'm going to talk about is property. That dominion which one claims and exercise over the external things of the world in exclusion of every other individual. So this is what you are called a property. 
is larger and just and just the same, meaning it embraces everything to which a man may attach a value and have a right, and which leaves to everyone else the like advantage. That means they can do the same thing. In the former sense, a man's land, a merchandise, or money is called his property. In the latter sense, a man has a property in his opinion and the free communication of those opinions. He has a property of peculiar value in his religious opinions and in his profession and practice dictated by those religious opinions. He has a property very dear to him in the safety and liberty of his person. He has a property very dear to him in the safety and liberty of his person. He has an equal property in the free use of his faculty and free choice of the objects on which to employ those faculties. In a word, as a man is said to have a right to his property, he may be equally said to have a right to have a property in his rights. Uh, where an excess of power prevails, property of no sort is duly respected. No man is safe in his opinion, his person, his faculty, or his positions. Where an excess of power prevails, look at this foreign system, you know, this foreign power. Property of no sort is duly respected. No man is safe in his opinion, his person, his faculties, or his possessions. Where there is an excess of liberty, the effect is the same, though from an opposite cause. Government is instituted to protect property of every sort, as well that which lies in the various rights of individuals as that which the term particularly expresses. This being the end of the government, that alone is a just government, which impartially secures to every man whatever is his own. Hear all them all time. You are called it. People. Philosophers, men, men of great stature. So you have to be impartial, and I'm probably sure this is not a what you would call Aboriginal writing. This is from probably what I would call the Caucasians. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, unless Madison was what you call. so-called black man. So this is why when I look at race, yeah man, we look at them integrity. We look at their morality, what them are exercise and a display. We look at their right and wrong cause, what them are perpetuate and a support. So it's not about color. It's not even about religion. Yeah, man, it's about a system where it's either right or a system that is either wrong. And in any case, we can make corrections. Yeah, man. According to this standard of merit, the praise of affording and just securing property should be sparingly bestowed on a government which, however, scrupulously Guarding the possession of individuals does not protect them in the enjoyment and communication of their opinions, in which they have an equal and, in the estimation of some, a more valuable property. More sparingly should this phrase be allowed to a government where a man's religious rights are violated by penalties or fettered by test or taxed by hierarchy. 
Conscience is the most sacred of all property. As a property depending in part on positive law, the exercise of that being a natural and unalienable right. To guard a man's house as his castle to pay a public and enforce private debt with the most exact faith can give no title to invade a man's conscience which is most sacred than his castle or to withhold from it that debt of protection for which the public faith is pledged by the very nature and original condition of the social pact or the social contract or the social agreement or that constitution that is not a just government nor is property secure under it where the property which a man has in his personal safety and personal liberty is violated by arbitrary seizures of one class of citizens or people for the service of the rest. A magistrate issuing his warrant to oppress them. Listen to that. A magistrate and the chief judge issuing his warrant to oppress them would be in his proper function in Turkey or Hindustan under appellations proverbial of the most complete despotism. That is not a just government, nor is property secure under it where arbitrary restrictions, exemptions, and monopolies deny to part of the people that free use of their faculties and free choice of their occupation, which not only constitute their property in the general sense of the word, but are the means of acquiring property strictly so-called. What must be the spirit of the legislation where a manufacturer of linen cloth is forbidden to bury his own child in a linen shroud in order to favor his neighbor who manufacture woolen cloth? Where the manufacturer and rarer of woolen cloth are again forbidden the economical use of buttons of that material in favor of the manufacture of buttons of other minerals. Just security to property is not afforded by that government under which e unequal, unequal tax, unequal taxes oppress one species of property and reward another species where arbitrary taxes invade the domestic sanctuaries of the rich and excessive taxes grind the faces of the poor, where the keenness and competitions of want are deemed an insufficient spur to labor and taxes are again applied by an unfeeling policy as another spur in violation of that sacred property which heaven in the green man to earn his bread by the sweat of his brow kindly reserved to him in the small repose that could be spared from the supply of his necessities. If there be a government, then which prides itself in maintaining the inviolability of property, which provides that none shall be taken directly, even for public use, without indemnification to the owner, and yet directly violates the property which individuals have in their, own, in their opinion, their religion, their person, and their faculties. Nay, more which indirectly violate their property in their actual possession, in the labor that acquires their daily subsistence, and in the hallowed remnant of time which ought to relieve their fatigues and soothe their cares. The influence 
inference will have been anticipated that such a government is not a pattern for the United States or any other place. If the United States means to obtain or deserve the full praise due to wise and just government, they will equally respect the rights of property and the property in rights. They will rival the government that most sacredly guard the former and by repelling its example in violating the latter will make themselves a pattern to that and all other government. Founders, Constitution, Volume 1, Chapter 15, not even 23. Yeah, man, these are the Madison papers, you know, James Madison. Quotes from the Second Treaties of Government by John Loki. Freedom from absolute arbitrary power is so necessary to a man's survival, so tightly tied to it, that losing it involves losing all control over his own life. That's why no one can voluntarily enter into slavery. A man does not have the power to take his own life, so he can voluntarily enslave himself to anyone or put himself under the absolute arbitrary power of someone else to take away his life whenever he pleases. Nobody can give more power than he has, so someone who cannot take away his own life cannot give someone else's such a power over it. Interesting. If man in the state of nature is as free as I have said he is, if he is absolute lord over his own person and possessions, equal to the greatest and subject to nobody, why will he part with his freedom? Why will he give up his lordly status and subject himself to the control of someone else's power? The answer is obvious. Though in the state of nature he has an unrestricted right to his position, he is far from assured that he will be able to get the use of them because they are constantly exposed to invasion by foreigners. All men are kings as much as he is every man is his equal. And most men are not strict observers of fairness and justice, so is all on the property he has in this state is very unsafe, very insecure. This makes him willing to leave a state in which he is very free, but which is full of fears and continual danger. And not unreasonably, he looks for others with whom he can enter into a society for the mutual preservation of their lives, liberty, and estates which I call by the general name, property. The others may be ones who are already united in such a society or ones who would like to be so united. So the great and chief purpose of men is uniting in commonwealth and putting themselves under government is the preservation of their property that they create can never be supposed to extend further than the common good. It is obliged to secure everyone's property. Give thanks, give thanks, my brethren. And then we have exhibit I, do not trespass, notice of liability for trespass. So we have a do not trespass sign, do not trespass notice. Any man or woman doing business as or acting for any service corporation. Service corporation mean the government of Jamaica, mean the United States of America, mean the British Commonwealth. All of those are service corporation. Notice of liability is henceforth given. Any man or woman attempting without authority to administrate our society, property, business, or this man I demand that you present the physical wet ink evidence to the following. Produce the obligation or contract upon which you rely to jurisdiction to enter or access property 
or trespass occurs. Reduce the obligation or contract that exists between I as man and the service corporation you work for or trespass occurs. Reduce verified claim of trespass that I as man or woman has caused damage or harm to another man or woman and or their property or trespass occurs. Reduce the name of the man or woman from your said service corporation, Government of Jamaica or United States Corporation that claims this man as their property and assuming full commercial liabilities. Otherwise, do not trespass. Vicarious liability. Notice the agent is noticed the foreign principal and notice the foreign principal is noticed to your domestic agents. Trespass fine is set at USA $1 million at par value, meaning silver kind of one. Fine increase $1,500,000. In additional fee schedule charges apply upon all trespass. So all of these are notices. We always like to give notice, you know. And so fee schedule you wait as a one ounce silver coin, you know, you a silver dollar or them thing they would deal with. And when you ask them for my driver's license, detective sergeant, see if you have 50,000 US silver dollar. When the court are asking for my name, see if you have 50,000 US silver dollar. And I'm asking for fingerprint and photographing and all of these things. It's all here in this fee schedule. All of it. You get me? And we can list it item for item, or we can choose to say $25 million and being generous. So just for the fee schedule violation alone, it's a $25 million silver dollars charge. Yeah, man. So this is a document, the ABS corpus where we send. In our way, in our form, in our style. You know what I mean? When are subjected to any secret society, we are not bar members anywhere. We have our own society. Yeah, man. Our society is transparent yet private. It's outside of the government of Jamaica. And every member has what we call, what they would call a poor man trust, what we house. Is entrusted. Yeah, man. And as we go along, we're going to prepare ourselves. One of the things we see outside here is that everybody has done something. And that is a beautiful thing. The people will not do nothing at all. I, I think they might try to learn. You know? So they might go to whichever way. It is more natural to them. We more apply to them. We more suit them. Here on the island, we don't really have nobody outside the eye right now. Uh, even if you come from Zamayaka, what we call Jamaica, corporate term. Usually the people them will get some of this kind of knowledge them, 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 you know, get it from some religious school at all. Most of them are Moors and nothing wrong with it. Hebrew Israelites, nothing wrong with it. Here on the island, I personally just I do things according to the little knowledge that we have, our due diligent research, and we are use whatever laws that were foundational and conform to the scriptural laws. Do no harm, do not trespass. You know what I mean, we are confirmed what we are doing to those things so we can use laws as our record. We're not outside the law. We can never be outside the law. We are the source and the author of law. So we're not outside the law. But your policy, the color of law, doesn't apply to us. That's why you try to impose. And there's a difference. There's a huge difference. I ask myself this question and others ask me the same question. I can remember my good brother Joel Jaguar C. 
say it to me now. Somewhat a different form. But it's like him would have said, how come? You travel out there with your vehicle as a walk Indian or as an Indian, you know, as American. I wouldn't have said nobody else doing it. Don't even attempt it. And that's a good statement, good question. Yeah, man. Because we have a lot of people, what we call Aboriginal community, are the people them we are. It has a waking up, becoming enlightened, and I read where they never expect what for find and read, and I find some kind of truth. We have a community what we call a, a, a original community where a lot of different people from the mainland, from different islands, you know, kind of geared towards this information. But we all have different technique, different style, different different ways of going about it. But I think the foundation of what we are trying to express is that we are free people and we are the people that all you foreigners came here and see. And most of you foreigners, you just said, intermingle and intermix with us. You know, but for some reason, we get the tail end of everything. You know what I mean? We get no recognition. You know what I mean? We get our identity literally usurped. Stolen away from us, right in front of us. We are that people. We are that people that they say are lost and cannot be found. Some say they will never be found, but we are these people. Now, me, I ask myself this question when I used to. You just know, view the YouTube world and the different, different Aboriginal peoples. I always ask myself, how come we are trying to clear ourselves free? I'm going to say these people expressing it. It's more like these people want us to assimilate. Them try to teach us all different kind of ways how to, you know, say, be comfortable within this foreign oppression. I've seen not many, so I can't talk about much. We have said, hey, let them do what they do, and we just do our own thing. Especially when it comes on to the finance part of it. We see the Aboriginal community find all different kind of ways we have taxes here and do this with taxes and Listen, when you are Indian in a tax, if you are work for anybody, you tell them just like that. Look in your laws. We don't pay tax, so make sure you don't withhold nothing from where I do, from my sweat equity. You do not withhold nothing from this specific man or woman. Sweat equity. You can do that with the one that's unaware. You can do that with the slave. So I should not fear study. And I try to figure out how to get around your tax. Watch my man. If everything is in a trust, my trust structure different way. Now I've nothing to do with you. And because I am original from this land and I know my original people from this land, whenever we do any kind of business, it's not called commerce. It's called trade because we are all original people from this land. We are home. America is our home. America is that now our Chipilego, what am I call the Americas, pluralizing it. Watch me now. It's one landmass, man. We're just separated by it. a little bit of water on top. At the root of it. This hemisphere, this side of it, is ours. This is where everyone comes, found us, come see us, and, you know, create a whole system, a whole industry, a whole business on behalf of us. We are their business. We are their commerce. Yeah, man. So a lot of people when I sit on the YouTube, you know what I mean? I said them I teach this and them I share that and them I walk this kind of walk. So until these guys, I not talk, them I go lock you up because you are criminal. I don't talk it, they don't lock you up because you break laws. I talk, they don't lock you up because 
it has said it's politically advantageous for them to try to discredit you. And I'm showing you where we send a notice to the Governor General Office and we send a Habeas Corpus notice to the court. So this is where we are making them aware, so watch out. It won't be possible to put me in a system and hide me. It will highly be highly impossible. It will be highly impossible for one man acting as chief judge's opinion. You get me? To put me in prison. That's his opinion. And it would be even more highly impossible for a doctor O, double O, doctor O, his opinion to keep me in prison. How? And you are just men. You're not gods. Your opinion. Your opinion is just that. An opinion. Your opinion cannot be law. And can never be law. Not you guys' opinion. So we always are give notice. And now when them violate. And have caused damage and harm. Then naturally, they must go compensate. Naturally. Yeah, man. Right now, it's been since November 30, 2019. Corporal Tyrone Walker and Constable Kirk Weston and Constable Byron Martin Deer, on behalf of their Superior Officer Detective Sergeant Kirk Roach has conspired, has conspired against my rights and kidnapped me on the roadside, seized or stole my vehicle, my automobile, my property, stole my property, and then brought me into their legal process, into their courts your inferior courts, where the courts, along with these officers, these public servants, commit a crime that's called deprivation of rights under color of law. That's your crime. And that's only one of the crimes, because this goes right back to the RICO Act. You get me? Uh, if you check my organization, it's going to be exposed that there are criminal organization. They have always been that. They are foreign to us. And the beauty about this foreign system, the document, everything, so you will always be able to have evidence of their actions. People like to talk, but they are never willing to act. They, they will easily go on YouTube and agitate common folk. And when they agitate the common folk, all the common folk have to ask, what have you done? Show us the way. And they cannot. They cannot. They have never gone in a courtroom to talk to any one of these learned, so-called learned people. They have never placed a declaration in the public domain, on the public record stating, hey, this is my possession and this is what I'm doing, this is my volition, this is my intent. They have never done nothing like that. But when you see their platform, they have a hundred thousand people. You know what I mean? A hundred thousand common folk. And ask them what have they done. Listen, I've learned that early, early on in, on this journey, that the people them, that are truly effective were really at the work of the people them where the system try to ruffle. So if the system are pamper you, then you're an agent of the system. If the system never conspire to deprive you of your liberty, you know what I mean? Deprive you of your duty to exercise your right, which is, as they would say, God-given, not man-given. 
Once the system now pressure you for you doing that, then the system will pump you. You know what I mean? And you're an agent of that system, irrespective of whatever you're saying on your platform or whatever you're spewing out here. You're agents of this foreign system. Most of you guys. You get me? I'm not talking, you get arrested for being a pedophile or being one of those molesters or being one of those criminals. You get me? So if somebody can come through, say, of course, damage an arm and you beat them up or, you know, you assault them sexually without their consent. I think they are crying. You deserve to go to prison. You deserve to get locked away. You know what I mean? But when you can stand up and say, hey, I'm, I'm not convicted of anything, you can't even bring a charge or a claim against me. Or if you have a valid victim or you have a contract saying this is a contract and obligation where you're supposed to fulfill and you didn't fulfill. Once you can't present these things, you can't bring a claim against me. No charges. So when you arrest me and put me in prison for 45 days, I can't find me. Inhumane treatment, mental and physical torment, torture, and abuse. Unjustly, unlawfully, maliciously. When I know it's all, you know, political. Yeah, man. Then you know, say, boy, you probably have make some steps where, you know, the system might find inappropriate, yet the system can't present any laws. Uh, you are brave. This is when you know you do something. And usually, you never go get a fanfare at the get go. Uh, that is how truth do, truth subtle, but truth. Stand for dominant. So you see, until some of you, YouTube teachers, YouTube scholars, YouTube video producers, some of you aboriginals, some of you American Indians, especially y'all on the mainland. You see, until now, Put on our own plates, on our vehicle, and start travel out there. Put on our own world passport, or on our own non-governmental identification. Until we start do those baby steps, those first steps, you're not doing nothing at all. You're part of the problem. But whatever it is you're selling and doing, only uh, enslave us more. But you're not free. You have never demonstrated that you are even trying to be free. Most of you guys just are create more businesses upon businesses and corporation within the corporation. And for what? When you guys get all that knowledge, why we can't create something totally separate and distinct? For us, we can't create our own economy. Yeah, man, we can't create our own movie industry. We don't need no outside help to do that. And we don't have to oppress our brothers and sisters in order to do that either. This is a problem. Uh, when we look outside and see the YouTube platform, you have sisters here talking this and brothers there talking that. And sisters here doing this and brothers doing that. But I'm like, Y'all are just finding more ways to be comfortable within your oppression. That's what y'all are doing. I don't look at you guys or I can look at you guys and see where you are separate and distinct. And even if you have to work for any one of those registered organizations that's registered to the company, to the, to the corporate construct, any one of your business where you are working at, I'm quite sure you know about contract stating you're an independent contractor and stating so watch out. Then I play a tax game. I'm outside of that. 
But the most of you are going to live in a fear of losing your work, losing your livelihood, losing your employment. Can't pay your light, can't pay your water, can't pay, you know what I mean? So this is the carrot system used to keep us, you know what I mean, subdued. And I guarantee if people come together and say, listen, I've got us all a little discipline you know. I've got us follow the Nestorian king there and say, we could take a one week off from our daily work and just go easy for one week. Just a city. Just like how them are back here and tell us that lockdown, corona don't come out. You don't need them to tell you that. Just chose one week where we just have to lock down ourselves. We just have to sit in. And many different groups have come together at any particular location and we just hang out and we just chant them kind of information. Yeah? For one week, why our people can't do that? You know what I mean? Why we can't organize ourselves and say, what's up? We have enough of this foreign construct. We have enough of this criminality within our society. You know what I mean? Because we are paint a broad brush. So what we are going to do, we need some accountability and we need some change. So watch out. Not even a fire shot. All we are going to do is just hold a reverence. We just have a hold a honor. We just not want to participate. We just choose. To not participate for, for seven days. And what we are going to do, we are going to sit down. If at the riverside, we will meet up somewhere. If at the beach side, somewhere. If I even in a, any one of our church, any denomination, we just go to church every day. And we just sit in. And we have some food for bring for someone's eat. We just do them thing there. And we just wall out. And we give them seven days. Seven days of non participation. With, not with the foreign construct. You know what I mean? We are ignore the corporation. We are ignore the corporate world for seven days. And let's see what happens. We could do it yes, up on the island and we could do it on the mainland. Like all of who know them are American. Commit to this thing. We create our own thing. All kind of CIA agents are create things for your truckers and pull us all over the place. So you say we're separate. You know what I mean? We branch, branch up all about. When now what the time where the most I said, this is when all of it going to come together. Babylon, make sure they might implement things and I put out agents to keep us separate, keep us divided. And I remember. A few years when me I said, boy, oh, you want to your strength. Me could come together. And now we cannot come together. You know what I mean? Because number one, we don't know who we are. Some of us say we are this. Some of us say we are that. Some of us say we are God knows what. And we can't find no foundation. And we can't find no truth. All right, now I can safely say I am the only man where I put my own plates for my vehicle and travel out there. And I have done that. And I have been traveling like that for not exactly a year. It's almost a year until them pull me over January, December, November 30th, 2019. That's when them take my car from me. And I haven't had access to my property since then. And I know I have I know I won't have any use for that property going forward since it's been sitting for so long. So I won't be able to just go in there, turn my keys, and just travel. When I look at the image of my vehicle, I say, boy, well, yeah, it's not one of your big bands. It's just a little cheap old pro box, but it's clean. It's in exceptional running condition. And I guarantee all of that change right now. Because this is the corporate Jamaica. The corruption is the order of the day. Now it's time for correction. Now it's time for correction. So a lot of you people with unclean hands, you have to correct yourself. Whether you like it or not, you just naturally have to correct yourself. 
Yeah, man. You're already wealthy, you know. So you know, if you run down this material, you know, money thing where they must show you, you're already wealthy with your birth certificate. That's where your inheritance is attached. And every man with a birth certificate is a wealthy man because of that birth certificate. It's where you use for discharge your obligation. You have a big old care payment. You just use a birth certificate and fix that. All obligations is government obligations. And there is no real silver nor gold coin being exchanged as money. It's all promissory notes, negotiable instruments. That's all it is. The $5,000 bill, the $1,000 bill, the $1 bill, it has the very same value. It has the very same value. And all of this is within their laws. But them, the wrong fair, rearrange laws and give policy, color of law. So you won't find the truth. That is, as they would say, two systems at play. You have what is lawful and you have what is legal. That's two separate and distinct systems. We have too much destruction. People them where it's about it, I got through it. Man. And them are whole firm. And then the agents out there, there are so many. All them do is tell you some things where them not doing it. And when you check them background, you're comfortable within their oppression. You're comfortable within the system. Them show you how much credit card them out. You get me? Them show you how much tax write off them. Them show you how much business them create. Or you go create any kind of business in a way you call an insolvent corporation. If the government themselves said them insolvent in them documents, what kind of business you are create within the documents? You get me? Yeah, man, I see a lot of people are doing a lot of things, and I'm not gonna lie. More sight is interesting, more sight is innovating, coming from our little, you know, say, Aboriginal perspective. But I say more sight are foreign thing. But you still have like foreigners play within your business. Yeah, man. And then give you a social security number. You have the number with dash and you have the number without dash. One with the dashes is for the, you know, call the public side. And the one without the dashes, very same number you know, would be for the private side. However, they must say you need a foreign 98 number for this and foreign 98 and one will leave for process. And I ask myself this question. Why? If you even create any foreign number, it's not going to tie into that primary document, that original number that attached to the birth. It won't it tie into that. So what difference would it make if you would just put it on record say, hey, I am exempt. This legal entity is exempt. And the man, authorized representative, the man is immune from all of these things. Totally new. Until I have committed what is known as a crime where has caused damage or harm. I'm totally immune. This is my view. So when I get caught up in other complexities with your finances, which is all illusionary, it's a game. And you have our people, you know, all caught up in that rabbit hole, in that illusion. We need to take seven days of non-participation, of non-compliance, of non-communication with all corporate concepts. I would have sit in, we group up in our group, five, ten, hundreds, thousands, 
And we just go to any location where we can facilitate and accommodate way. For the beach side, we just go on the beach enough. And we not have to see. We probably find a program where like this where we just a talk to each other, a reason with each other, and a share information so the common folk can become uncommon. This is how we can, you know, put a dent on some of the criminal activity. Because we have come together now and communicate with each other. So if me and you have a problem, at least we have a group of people around where we are hash out that problem. By the time the day is done, we are eating and we are drinking and we are not free nobody. If you ask him turn him head back, we are going to lick it out. No. We are getting a brand new comprehension of things. The moment you get clarity and correct knowledge, then you have a change naturally. You hear who you are, unless you're a natural psychopath. And when you're that, we can't help you. You're just psychotic. But for the people that were unlearned and need to learn some things, this is how we start. But we have to make sacrifice. We can't go on like say we have to go to them school and we go get PhD. You get me? What is that? You go get a PhD within a foreign system for come out from brag from the common people when I have the opportunity because some people would do well within the institutions, within the university. And I said, them no one go. Are them lazy? Is that enough of them now have the opportunity? Never had that opportunity. And will never have that opportunity. So, because them now have the opportunity for going inside of that formal educational structure, that no means so we're going to dismiss them. And that no means say so you were going there is more advanced than any of those people. Because I've never been to none of those formal school of learning. I've never been. However, here I am. I've walked into many of these people courts and walk out until this chief judge choose to penalize me on behalf of his foreign principal. Because he never express or show or demonstrate a law. You can't remand a man in a prison for psychological evaluation. Because you probably say you can do that. You have done that a million times and nobody not challenge it. I am challenging it now. And I do this publicly so people can become aware. So when the paperwork start push people already have the information knowing say, yeah, this is what it is. If court is a public arena and the information should be public, why you guys are it has said hijack the court and hold in the court hostage as if it's a private lodge and private. You guys operating in there might have your own private business. You get me? We need to create an arena for that. But no more slavery, no more human trafficking, enough of that. We're going to expose it all. And the Bible said the earth is out of course. It's just that. Out of course. Everything is off balance. But for the people, when they balance themselves, it's like hard for them to discover this. They might just know something wrong, but there's nothing they can do about it. When all the power derives from you, the government that's in place now that is oppressing you, you gave it that consent to oppress it. You delegate the authority to that body quality, so it chose to oppress you now. However, you can just renounce whatever agreement, whatever delegation, whatever contract. You can rescind and renege 
No, la devo scambiare. Yeah, man. Uh, when them breach them fiduciary oath of office to serve the public and them chose to serve them private for profit enterprises, then we can walk away from them. Yeah, man. Uh, when a bar member attorney sit in the office of as a judge and a practice law from the bench, then that is a violation of them own laws. Because you have laws where it's against that. The statute of nobility now apply here, but these attorneys think they're special. These judges think they're special because they them have special immunity. I don't know where they get it from. They must get it from God Almighty. all are equal under the law then no one is immune from this very same law absolutely no one not even i that's why we choose to stay lawful we choose to stay correct and we mind our own business as best as we can we keep our business night private so it have nothing for the with no public Yeah, man, we don't have no business at the with no foreign people. You get me? With the business amongst ourselves. So that is called trade. And trade is separate and distinct from commerce. When we have a business with this corporation that is called commerce, because a corporation is foreign to us. Yeah, man. Their corporation is foreign to us. Corporation is that person or person. It's not the man or the woman. So they are foreign to us. They're not the same as us. They cannot leave a landmark. They cannot leave a footprint on this earth. I can. You as man and woman can. The government of Jamaica cannot. None of these corporate entities can leave a footprint. They are just as illusionary as the financial security most people sell them souls for it. I don't know everything. Yeah, man. The little that I know is that if we not try to correct the little what we know, then nothing I got correct around here, especially here on the island. I am quite aware that a whole bunch of changes made since I stepped forward on this scene. Yeah, man, since 2019, a lot of different laws are coming to place, but a lot of policy are in place, not laws, policy. The policy is what will bring earth and harm to the people, collectively. But when the people choose not to discipline themselves and abide according to law, then somebody has to administrate them, and they have to do that via policy. At no time will I delegate any of my authority to anyone outside of art, especially to a body politic that is foreign or have foreign interests. Yeah, man. And their interest is for profit. is to fleece the common poor. Yeah, man. It's the whole, the common folk. In total, absolute tyranny. Where them administrate harsh yes, punishment. 
the moment you have to get a license to act, then you are not free. The moment you are paying any form of tax, taxes is a charge. Yeah, man, and charge away is like a bill. Yeah, man, where you have to pay is like an order. So the moment you find yourself up there, in a big pretty house and you're, and you're paying tax to a foreign government, you only have right of use of that property. You don't necessarily own it until you make a claim on the public record on that property and force that corporate entity for both your claim that cannot. Government of Jamaica own absolutely nothing at all, but they'll let you think they own it, and then if you don't rebut it, then you agree. This is our land, this is my land, and if part of this land of me want me to make a claim on it, and then you, government of Jamaica, try to rebut it. We lose in any one of your court. I mean, so for the unlearned, time you're wise up, you know. Uh, a lot of people is now awake, but you know, so much information and disinformation is out there. And so much agent, a share and a show and a do so much things. Where the people them are in the region, the people them scattered all about the place. People them still confused. But as time go forward, step by step, you know, day to day clarity, people will take time, find them way. And the most important thing is at least a lot of people, whether they them do the right thing or the wrong thing, but they might try something, they might do something. I mean, it's just that we have to be lawful and correct in our actions. We have to maintain our honor as best as we know how. Just all and always I give notice. Give these corporations a whole bunch of notice. Flood them with notices, man. You get me? You can't just uh, take in and take in and uh, put out and put they are put out. You get me? Whole heap of information to them. Let them have to find ways of to correct and put them on the defensive then. Put it that way. But if you are my public servant and I am your master, how dare you think you can bully me? How dare you think you can assault me? You know what I mean? How dare you think you can just arrest me and send me to prison without a conviction, without compensation. No, man. You shall be held accountable. No, oh, man. Both on the physical and on the spiritual. It's, it's law and nature. You shall be held accountable. So, a lot of you mainlanders. You think you're all about it. You think you're all doing something. Laugh at most of you guys as a joke. Yeah, man. Most of you guys are just a joke. And then the guys were a little bit brighter and more serious. Your agents. So you're not demonstrating the freedom. So show off how good you can, you know. Function or good you can operate within the commercial world. That's all you do. You show people how to get comfortable within their slavery while oppressing the common folk. When I have the information where you guys are. Yeah, man. You induce our people to assimilate with a foreign power. You know what I mean? You consider us, the common folk, as enemies. Are we not considered nobody the enemy? And them have to call we enemy first. We say we are at peace, so why are we being war again? We say we are non adverse, so why are you coming at us adversarially? We say we are non combative, so why are you just brutalizing, pushing a prisoner and do what you want to do? 
breaking the law of not just nature but the law of man. A man put laws in place to avoid these things. But see a man as a man change those laws. Wise up you people on the mainland for what you are considered being free. You are very far from it. If they now demonstrate their freedom publicly, yeah, man, and I live it that way. You have an agent, yeah, man, bringing harm and hurt to our people. Uh, you're not walking a truth. You have talk some talk, but you're not walking that walk. You know what I mean? You're not put on your private plates, with your private documents. And say, hey, I'm not for ask them, no government man when he put in a power for a mission for act. You guys are comfortable in your slavery, comfortable in your oppression, and you try to teach the common folk how to become just like you. Proper slaves. With a lot of federal reserve no. Or at least the image of it. Teach the people that they are the true wealth of this earth. Teach the people that they are the true source of all power, of all energy. Everything with them see I go on around them, they are that source. Teach the people them how to correct their mentality. For them now to look upon everything physically. They want guns to go fight war. We have a fight, the government, so who is the government? Your public servant. So oh you as a master, I take up guns to go fight the servant. Let the servant then take up guns to come fight them master. But the laws are in place for that. But when we get up and I say war, 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 there's no one comprehend what war is. When you talk about the government, or you see a mother working in the government, or you see a father, or you see a sister, or you see a brother, or you see a family member. So, who you go war with? But we have to try to correct some things naturally in this, in this laws and not even correct, like enforce the laws that are there. So, our laws are already there. So, the people them where other than public policy, and them have to correct themselves. But the law is there from foundation, it not change. Do no harm, golden rule. So just like how oh, you wouldn't mind a send a man to prison, there will be a next judge somewhere who will not mind sending you as judge to prison, sending you as attorney to prison, sending you as police officers to prison. Equality under the law means just that. I mean, say, boy, you immune and can break the law, but everybody else of your equal and I. No, it doesn't mean that. It means you were sore on public food and have insurance by way of a bond to secure that public food. You get me? We have to take a oath to uphold the laws, constitutional laws of the land. Not no laws of the sea in a way. And then you go and take a private oath in bar member association. So they can become very wealthy and rich and looked upon as noble. You know what I mean? Looked upon as your gods. Those days are coming to an end. Come on. Change has now come. So, as we move forward. As we move forward. Anyway, give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks and praise people. A walk in their nation in America. Bold and brave. Firm and strong. It's just another philosophical reasoning. Yeah, man. Mustard seed movement. 
Ya Ramos <laughs> Gratitude people. Complete gratitude.